If you're entering the postseason this past week, we have a lot of special QMG Play of the Week nominees, but before we get to them, we have to talk about this week's winner. From right over the bridge, it's Palmyra's JT Thomas. And a kickoff return, JT secures the catch, weaves in and out of traffic, turns on the Jets, and finds open field to take it all the way to the house for a touchdown. Impressive play there from Mr. Thomas. Now, let's take a look at this week's nominees. Big accomplishment for Hannibal's Abby Martin, who earlier this week captured her thousandth career dig. Big deal for the senior, especially only playing three years of varsity volleyball. Let's switch it up and go to the gridiron for this next nominee. We got Q&D's Wyatt Mueller with the punt return. Here he takes it back in the middle, flies by defenders, and it's nothing but open grass there for the senior. This kid is such an athlete, and you can see why with plays like that. Let's stick with football, though. Here's Pleasant Hills, Waylon White getting the handoff here, taking it to the outside, waiting for his blockers to develop. Great patience there from Waylon, and then he just dives for the touchdown there. Great Great play by Mr. White. Let's check out some postseason plays now. Here's Highlands Kira Rothweiler with bases loaded. She sends this ball out of here. A grand slam for the sophomore. This was one of many plays from Kira that helped them win districts yesterday. But man, that play in particular was just awesome. We're going to take it to the golf course now for our last nominee in state golf yesterday. Here's QD's Bo F. Tink with a nice shot onto the green. He would go on to capture par for this hole. And overall, he plays second at state. Again, another huge accomplishment there for F. Tink. Those are your QMG nominees, and you guys already know the drill. Log on to WGM.com sports and cast your vote. That's